The ancient philosopher Lao Tzu said, A journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Before we take that step, let's make sure that we're going in the right direction by using our trusty map. Oh my, that's a lot of choices. The question is, which one should we use? Maps are an important tool for understanding the world around us. They come in different types, each with their own purpose. A map is a visual representation of a place. Knowing which map to use at the precise right moment in time is an important skill for any aspiring geographer. Let's take a look at a few different types of maps. Political maps show the boundaries between countries, states, regions, and major cities. They're useful for understanding the political landscape of a region and knowing where one place ends and another begins. Political maps can show other features too, like roads and waterways. Physical maps show the natural features of a region, like mountains, deserts, rivers, oceans, and lakes. They're useful for understanding the geography of a region. Geography is the study of the physical features of the Earth. On a physical map, symbols or colors may be used to show the location of different natural features on the Earth's surface. A topographic map is similar to a physical map, but it shows the elevation of the land and the shape of the Earth's surface. Hikers often use topographic maps to navigate around different types of landforms like hills, mountains, and valleys. A climate map shows the different climate zones of a region and provides information about temperature, precipitation, and other weather patterns. Before you jump into your car and hit the road, you may plan your journey using a road map. A road map shows the streets and highways of a region it can help us to navigate through unfamiliar areas and reach our final destination. A resource map shows us the location of different natural resources. Examples of natural resources include trees, fresh water, fish, oil, coal, precious metals, minerals, and so much more. These resources are used by humans to make different types of goods. Have you ever wondered where people live around the world? A population density map can show you the amount, or density, of people who live in a particular area. A city filled with people will have a higher population density than a rural area filled with farmland where people live farther apart. When learning about the past, you may study a historical map. Historical maps show events or places from long ago like battles, the locations of ancient civilizations, borders that have changed over time, and more. Okay, I think I figured out which map to use. There are so many more examples of different types of maps. Each serves a unique purpose and can help us understand the world around us, no matter where we find ourselves. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. To keep up to date on the newest videos from the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, keep pursuing history.